Hey guys, so I have got a bunch of journals ready for me to create advent journals with. And I thought I would do a little bit on camera with you guys. So I thought I'd do a little bit of chit chat too because I would like to get to know some of you guys a little bit. I have got so much Christmas stuff. Like, that's an understatement. So much is an understatement. Um, but I am ready to use this stuff up. I'm going to dump out I've got a whole bunch of little buttons. It's in these big cases. And I can't see what I've got. So I want to be able to see all of these goodies. So I'm just going to make a mess. Pump those guys out. And I know this is going to be too much for me to close this, but for right now, I really don't need to close it. I just need to be able to get through it. So, don't you just love the mess that comes with creating stuff? I do. I'm going to trash that here because I don't want to make a completely little mess. So, I just got a new craft space because my upstairs was completely and totally <laughs> taken up with craft supplies. So I've got a new little area downstairs and my husband had redone our basement and I wasn't sure how I was going to use the space initially, but it's looking like it's a good thing because this is going to be a perfect little space for me to do this. I've got three kids, and it's sometimes impossible to do videos and whatnot without hearing them screaming in the background. And I'm just happy they're healthy and all that good stuff, but it does get annoying when you're trying to record for YouTube videos. So, a little bit about my Advent journals. Guys, seriously, if you don't celebrate Advent, that is cool. I'm not trying to force my beliefs on anybody. But please do not do any disrespectful comments because I'm making Advent journals. We all have our opinions and our rights, and that's what I'm doing. If you don't like it, you don't have to sit here and watch it. Just fast forward on. Um, but I personally enjoy doing scripture writing for Advent. Um, Advent this year, 2019, starts January the 1st, and it goes through December the 24th. So, I'm wanting to do daily scripture writing to take me through the Advent season. I used to work as an 911 dispatcher for eight years, and during that time, there was a lot of people who, um, you know, the, de the holidays just got them really down, and so... I don't know, maybe. I volunteer. Okay, so kid, come down here. I lost my train of thought. Um, anyway, I think I was talking about being a 911 dispatcher. Um, anyway, it was really hard on people. And after being on the phone with folks and seriously, them not wanting to live because they couldn't afford Christmas gifts, I mean, that really hit hard, you know? And. I don't know. I just don't want to fall into that trap of being determined that my Christmas is a good Christmas based on if I can or cannot buy Christmas gifts. Does that make sense? So, I go at the Christmas season with more of an internal um, evaluation, I guess you'd say. Um, and I try to do that for my kids because... We always had a good Christmas growing up. It wasn't, we didn't have a lot whenever I was small. And then when my mom and dad, of course we got older, my mom and dad got better off financially and so Christmas become great. But it was a hard thing to, whenever we got old enough, to be able, you know, to have our own kids, not to fall into that trap of having this great big elaborate Christmas. So we also don't want for our kids to be you know, materialistic and thinking that um, everything is from stuff. So we try to go at Christmas with a, a Thanksgiving a a attitude, helping others attitude. Um, you know, scripture, Jesus, what the real season is about. 
So, we do still get our kids stuff, so don't don't think I don't get my kids stuff, but we don't go all out with Christmas stuff, so. But that's our prerogative, right? If you do something different, totally okay. So, I am actually going to try and get into doing this a little bit. I am trying to find something that I want to go on the cover of this. I don't want for it to be too much like... Santa Claus or anything like that because it is going to be um, an advent journal. If there's anything wrong with Santa Claus or nothing like that. Again, guys, I'm just talking. My personal preference, so please don't bash me if you believe different. We're all entitled to our opinions. We don't have to butcher people just because they don't believe the same way that we do. Okay, so I think I'm going to use this maybe really like how that looks it's got a holy carol and christmas christmas stuff on it so i may let that be i may let that be it i don't know i really like this i think this one's gonna have like a music theme to it that seems to be really jumping out at me one has snowflakes and musical notes on it so whenever I make my journals I use I cover the outsides with paper go ahead and put my tie on and then I go in and I start creating the inside I've got a bunch of journals made up got all of these made and ready to go to create journals the small ones will be advent journals, and then the larger ones will be Christmas journals. And I've got a participating in a sale. I thought I have these done by this weekend, so I'm crunched just a little bit because it snuck up on me. Oh yeah, here's the paper I want to use for sure. So this is the hardest part, guys: picking out paper. Okay. So we're going to use this piece because those pieces were just a little bit too small, but they will be great as pages in the journal. I got these paper packs. These were um, Michael's this year, 2019, um, and they were five bucks. So I did not have hardly any Christmas paper, so I needed some. And I went ahead and indulged myself. I love, look, I love these little journaling cards they put in here. That's gorgeous. Okay, there was one I thought that had Christmas trees and musical notes, but I guess not. Okay, so we're going to go with this one. I didn't know I was going to be so indecisive on camera, guys. I apologize, but this is how it goes whenever I'm creating my journals, so... It's just a real deal. All right. So I don't do any type of measuring whenever I make my journals. I literally lay the paper down. I line it up. And I just go in and cut. Make a little bitty cut where I want for my paper to cut off at. So this one I'm going to want right here. Then, I told y'all this is a completely new craft space, so I'm still getting used to where I put everything. Alright, so I'm going to come in and make this cut right here. We're going to count, I had to pause the video again because a kiddo come down here. We're going to count how many times the kids come down between now and the time I'm done with the video. The struggles are real. I love my kids though, I wouldn't trade them for anything. Okay, so, got that piece down. Looks really good. Come in here. Add 
the cover in. Give it plenty of glue. I am looking for a new sewing machine because I love to do sewing pages in my journals and every time I sew with mine the bobbin gets all bunched up and broke and I have adjusted it, I've cleaned it, I've took it apart, I mean I put it back together from scratch. I've done everything. The only thing that I can figure is it's just old. I had it whenever I lived at home, like 15 and um I sewed everything coming and going. I made wedding dresses and prom dresses and quilts and everything with that sewing machine. So the only thing that I know is maybe it's just wore out and time to get a new one. Okay, so that looks good on the front. The granddaddy legs are something. So now we're going to recut another space. Again, I told you guys, I seriously do not measure. Lay it down, line it up, look where I want to cut it, make a little indention there. Then I'll come back with this. Go ahead and make both of these marks. Put this one here. This is just how I've done it, and it works, so. What is the old saying? If it's not broke, don't fix it. So this works for me. So since we are doing a musical theme, how about you guys call me up and let me know, what is your favorite Christmas song? I love Christmas music. I think everybody is either a... Um, Christmas person, like, you're either, I'll listen to Christmas music as soon as Halloween's over, or some people are, don't listen to it, not one day before Thanksgiving, some people's like, even that's too early, the first of December, what's your thoughts about Christmas music? I personally, like, I was looking for it on the radio the other day, and it's just a week after Halloween, <laughs> but... Again, I think that doing, I do a November daily, and I really do a lot of gratitude during November. I think that that gets me pumped. I have done some Christmas shopping throughout the year this year to not save it for the last minute. And again, I'm going to say it, but my son with his autoimmune disorder, we don't get out a lot during the winter. And I don't know why, but people are just rude at Christmas time. He'll run into you with the buggy, and uh, it just drives me insane. So, I try to get it all done. And my poor little male person, I know they hate me because online shopping is my friend. Because I cannot stand to go looking for something in a store and then not have it. So, I'm like, why waste the time to drive from here to there to everywhere if I'm just going to have to order it anyway so yeah so I can't decide if I want to do a little bitty spine or leave it like that I don't know I have to think on that a little bit but I really like how that looks so inside now what am I going to do with the inside here's the outside I think it's really cute I almost wish I would have done a little bit of like a green tint to that. Maybe I can without messing it up. Let's see. Let's try. Let's just try together. These are the dollar ink pads that I got from Hobby Lobby. That I mean, not Hobby Lobby. Uh, Target the other day, and I have never used any of their ink pads, so I don't know what to expect. So. Not doing nothing. Look, I'm scared. I'm a scaredy chicken. Look, I'm just gonna dip my finger in here and do it. Oh, 
that works. I'm just doing a light. A light edge here. That's working nicely. I wish I had some of those little finger dabbers, but I almost think if I did, it would be too much. So I can at least control the pressure here. My hand will be all icky. That's working well. I have never made an advent journal before. I've always just used plain notebook paper in the past, but I really do enjoy looking back over the ones that I have done through years. I think I've been doing it in like two years now. But each year I sit down and look at the one from last year and look at the things that was on my bothering me, you know, and I was concerned about and to just see how God has worked out all of that stuff since last year. And see, you know, sometimes we get <laughs> so worried about stuff that, because that's all we can think about. And then looking back this year, I think how crazy I was to even be upset about it. But we're human, right? I definitely think next time I will want to do that before I uh, glue it down. But that worked. Improvise, right? Alright, so now we got to determine what we want to do for the inside. I don't think I want to do any more musical notes. I don't know. Where did these sheets go? I still think these may be too small. No, maybe not. I think it would be okay for more to show the inside. Yeah, I think so. Because then I could put some lace around it. That would be cute. So let's do it. Let's just do it. I'll bring out the little one here. So I am excited. I've been working on some printables to go in my Etsy shop and they're really going to be cool if I do say so myself. So we got that one. I think I'm going to do the other side. I topped off the Christmas charms for that side so I think I will leave it down for this one. That way it's a little bit different on the front than on the back. only thing is sometimes I can't find my little mark. So now we have both sides ready to glue down. And you know what? I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. I'm actually going to color these edges. Okay, so there's the third time I had a little person come down here. So I am just doing the edges, and it is working out better. So that looks great. Now we will glue these babies down. I have been playing with some different glues to try and determine which one I like best for like my covers, which one I like for the actual inside pages. And so far I really like this one because it doesn't saturate the fabric or the book cover too much. So it's a three in one. Beacon 3-in-1 glue. Put this down just a minute. That looks good. I really like the green edges. It makes it pop.
And I'm trying to line this up with this one over here. I really think the signature pages would make it to where you can't tell too much, but better safe than sorry, right? Okay, so now we've got that done. Okay, next thing I want to do is I got these tiny little ring fasteners to attach a um, tassel to. I'm going to use the silver one. And I've not tried them yet because these have made up brads. I'm going to try using this and see how it does. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue so that it stays set. Oh, that's going to be so cute. Try to keep it in the center of the spine there. So that's going to be cute. For the little tassel. I usually make to last to fix my tassels so that whatever laces that I use throughout the book, I can use a piece of that in the actual tassel so that it all ties together well. So I used, I think this is a silver, maybe not, can't tell guys, yeah it's a little silver one, okay so we're going to use silver for the book, corners. Okay, so totally, I don't know if this is the right or wrong way to do this, but this is how I do it. So if you've got a better way of putting these book corners on, tag me in the video. Because I would definitely take all the help I can get. I love putting these little corners on there because I really think it makes it look like an old book. You know, nowadays you don't see stuff like that being on books. And I think it just helps protect it all. Got that one on. I love to watch I'm a Cool Mom on YouTube. I've learned so much from watching her channel. So if you don't watch it, you need to 
go check it out for sure. Got the front ones on, not looking too shabby. And if you hear my kids playing upstairs on the floor, I apologize. One more to go. I think for this one with the spine being so small, I don't think paper would adhere that well. So I think what I'm going to do is once I get the signatures sewn in, I will come back and put a pretty piece of lace or gingham or something on it. Gingham, however you say it. that not looking too bad I think I am going to go ahead and add some lace on the inside maybe around the edge as well what do you guys think I think that green one match it better Seriously, where does this thing? Oh, there it is. <laughs> and I've done some here and unwound all that. Genius! Sometimes I do such things that I even amaze myself. Let's see how this might work. Oh, yeah, I think that'll be cute. Do y'all hear my kids fighting? Do y'all hear my kids are fighting? Do y'all's kids fight? Alright, let's do a thin line right here. And no, I'm not leaving my kids unattended. Their dad is upstairs. Watching them. Love it, love it. I almost wish I would have put this on before I put the book corners on, but maybe not. It's kind of cute. I'm going to matter these corners just a little bit. Yeah, that looks better. Let's go ahead and do one across the bottom. Here I am covering up that pretty green I did around my edge. That's okay. It kind of shows up a little bit through there. Got 
that one in there. It's going to work. Okay, so kiddo is in the room. Told y'all the struggle is real. <clears throat> and I stay at home with them all the time. They're homeschooled. And I work from home. Like my job, job, I work from home. So we are together like all the time, but I would not have it any other way. Okay, that is looking good guys. I really am glad I decided to put the lace on there. Y'all had a great idea. Y'all some smarts people. And I do like how it kind of covers the book edges up. I was not liking it at first, but it kind of gives it a more of a vintage look, I guess. Alright! Looking good, what y'all think? I love it. Okay, now i got to flip it over and do this side. So, um, if you have never done Advent Journaling or you're interested in it but you don't know where to look, there is tons of resources online. You can Google Advent 2019. Um, Visual Faith has got a resource they just come out with for 2019. Verses already selected for you. And there is a little calendar. I think it's a calendar. Going off of memory here. Where you can journal on the little calendar. Your verses. Super cute. Um, but check that out. I, pr I have ordered a Bible um, journal. A Bible created for Bible journaling. I'll get it out in a minute. From Dayspring. And it is a spiral bound Bible. But it is just the book of Mark. I mean, excuse me, Luke. For the Christmas story. So I'm going to use it um, to do my Bible journaling. I'm going to Bible journal the book of Luke. The entire book of Luke is my goal in December. And I'm going to um, do my Advent journaling too. So... This is not expensive to make, guys, for yourself if you want to make it. Of course, if I make them and sell them, I have to, um, you know, allow for my, my materials and my time to make it. And that's what I think people don't realize whenever they buy handmade items. They think, well, I can make that so much cheaper. Yeah, you can, but you're going to have time involved in it. And so when you get something that's handmade that you're purchasing, you're going to pay for it because you've got to pay somebody their time. And, you know, on some kind of an assembly somewhere, they can mass produce this stuff probably quickly. But when you're getting a handmade item that has took somebody their time to make it unique, it's not one in 1,000 or 10,000 or whatever, you have a completely unique thing. 
So I'm actually participating in a sale this weekend at a local art gallery. Well, it's through the whole month of rest of November and then December. Um, so I'm going to be making some of these for that. As well. But I do have an Etsy shop. I do plan to get some of these made. It'll be um, next week before I get any of them on my shop. The Advent ones that I'm creating are going to be these mini sizes because I'm creating them specifically for the purpose of just doing your scripture journaling every day. I will have some that are going to be larger sized that are going to be actual Christmas journals um, where you can do like a December daily in it or you can do a photograph book of your Christmas this year or Christmas has passed, whatever, a little Christmas memory book. It's so cute. I love it. What do you guys think? I think it's turned out good. I think I'm going to do the same thing on the inside. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the signature next. I probably will come in and do that here just to make it match. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to come in and create my signature for the journal. And then determine once I get the signature in if I'm going to want to pocket here. If I'm going to want to do the lace. Um, and after, after I sew my signature in, I'll determine about lace on the outside. But for now, I really think this is cute. Let me tie it and let you see it. Sorry, this lace is going to come off. I want it to lay flat to finish drying. Hey buddy, you need to have your mask on to sweep. Thank you for sweeping though. You just need to have your mask on. Okay. Oh, still recording, baby. Okay, so here we go. It's the finished product. I think it looks really good. I still am glad that I embossed the edges a little bit with the green color because it does kind of pop through a little bit. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, but it does shine through the lace some. And then... Um, I'll go ahead and create the signature and then I'll determine what I'm going to do with the inside. But that is how you create a Advent Journal um, cover. And then the little tassel will be here. I think I'm going to record this one with you guys um, so you can see the process. And then I'll create the other ones off camera. So when I start the signature for this one, I'll try to record that as well. Um, so you can see how that's going to look going forward. And we'll kind of try and do this one together. So do check out my Etsy shop. Um, again, there's not going to be any up right now. I do plan to start rolling out the Advent journals probably about Thanksgiving, maybe a couple of days before, um, so that you can receive them in time to start for your Advent journaling on December the 1st. I will start a Christmas sale after Thanksgiving sale. It will be on Black Friday. I will post some of the completed... Um, some of the completed full-sized Christmas journals. So that is the difference between the Advent Journal and the size that the Christmas Journal is going to be. It's also thicker. So I did not want to put a ton of pages. I know some people create December um, journals that have like three or four signatures. This one is just going to be specifically for like a December daily or for a small memory book. I have got one that I need to do a video on. But it was so big, it was hard for me to figure out how to put stuff in it to fill it up because I wanted it to be just for 2018. Um, I guess the bigger journals would be great if you wanted to put multiple years all in one book. Um, but I am creating these for the purpose of like being a one-year journal or um, like a December daily. I guess you could put like one picture for a year or something in it and it could last several years. But um, stay tuned for those. But these will be posted in my Etsy shop. I will have some of the Advent journals again in there. So just keep checking that out. My Etsy shop is Becoming Blameless US. So B-E-C-O-M-I-N-G. B-L-A-M-E-L-E-S-S-U-S, -S -S -S, all one word. So thank you guys for watching, and come back, and we'll do the rest of this one together.